All right, so here's the thing. I'm sitting here, I'm busy welding these sheets together, and I run out of freaking wire in the welder. So that's all we got here is this, the old Millimatic with the tiny little spool in there. So these 10 pounders are 40 bucks a piece. 40 freaking bucks! And uh, they're tiny. So let's figure this out. How can we use, let's see here, ah, pan over, pan up. There we go. So I bought a giant spool, a 33 pounder, and it was uh, 60 something bucks. Way cheaper. Look up here, Quagmire. Yeah, it was way cheaper. But now I gotta figure out how to get this thing onto my welder because it just, look over here. Frack. Yeah, it just, yeah, it just doesn't fit physically. Mentally, it doesn't fit. So we're gonna we're gonna try and rig her up back here somehow. <laughs> I don't know how, but we're gonna do it. Let's go find some metal. All right, what I got is this piece of metal. She fits pretty nice in there, isn't a tiny bit loose. And then I got these old bearings from the pile, and they fit pretty snug. So we've cut this baby down to size, and we're gonna weld it to these bearings. No, oh, you can't weld bearings. You're gonna ruin them. Shut up. Uh, one of the problems is. Uh, for now, I need to be able to use this in my welder, even though it doesn't have a spoolie thing. Ah, what are you gonna do? We're gonna figure this out. Why is this two by four here? So I gotta figure out how to be able to use this before I even have this all rigged up. How? Well, here's how. I need something to make this thing spin nice and easy. So I went on uh, Greg's list and I, I got myself this here Mitsubishi turntable. Cost me 400 bucks. I think it's a really high quality one. I don't know. I don't know jack turntables, but it turns. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put this sucker right here on the ground. And then we're gonna grab a spool, get all this plastic off of here. Frickin' Why does it have to be so strong? Ugh, oh, some plastic, you can't break it. Other plastic, it won't hold <sighs> All right. Grab the sucker. <sighs> There we go, put her on the turntable. Hey, that should work pretty good. Flip her around. Let's center it up. There we go, boys. She's a spinning. Now, to be able to feed the wire through here somehow. We need a hole in here. I'm gonna take this pipe and run it in here like this, and that'll direct the wire. All right, that fits. We'll take a zip tie. Down here, I will take, zip tie this pipe onto here. That should hold it there for the amount of welding I need to do. Now we need to feed the wire through. Slowly feed her in. There she is. Get her over, feed her through here. And, oh, she's going straight in, nice. Lock down. Now, how do we get the wire from coming off of that spool? Okay, so what I got is this piece of plastic foam. I stick it over here somewhere and kind of twisty it to give it kind of a breaking effect and keep the wire on on the spool. What the hell my thing's not big enough? Damn it! Where is that expensive peck ahead? Perfect. Yeah, it just falls right apart. Oh, you piece of crap. Piece of freaking crap. There's a foot there. Can we just make this work half ass? Not permanent, we just need this to hold here for now. Let's see if that'll work. There she is. Finally, three days later. All right, now we can at least weld. All right, clap this sucker in the vise. Weld that bearing to that pipe. Make sure that you have your big uh, welding gloves on and don't forget your welding helmet. Yeah, who am I kidding? This isn't a safety channel. Two little spots. Yeah, I can't feel nothing with these giant gloves on. Where's my hammer? Oh, there it is. So far, the spool on the ground is working fine. <laughs> Gotta love it. Smoking! Oh, he just tacked and tacked and tacked some more. I'll grind her clean a bit. Hey, my 20-year-old visor. Safety first, <laughs> or second, third, whatever. I really don't care how safe you are. Oh, just like that, she's shaking that fat. All right. She fits nice. Perfect, I like it. 
I like it a lot. Now we need a shaft that'll fit into these bearings. So I've looked through the whole pile and I wandered around out back aimlessly and I couldn't find nothing except for this. The only problem is it doesn't fit. So I'm gonna grind it until it does. And I'm gonna show you that whole process in slow motion. Well, we're on like three eighths of an inch. Still need more. Oh, here we go. For some reason it won't go past, so there's probably a lumpy lump here somewhere. All right, how about now? Still, what the frick? Well, if she goes, she's just a little stiff. Flippity flat. Let's try going from the other side. We just need to get it through there a little ways. And for that, we'll use a hammer. Oh, there's one now. Something like that. Now right, we'll leave that for now. And it's going to be stick it through the spool, plop it down in a cradle. So now I need a big washer to put on here. See if we got one. Hey, just so happens, I got one. Fits perfectly right on there. Now I think I'll weld it on. And I'll basically slide this through the spool, pick the whole spool up, drop the spool in the cradle. Something of that nature. All right, fancy welder with the spool on turntable. Let's do this thing. That seems pretty good. Shut it, Miller! I'm grind these welds clean. All right, we got the washer welded on. Now we should first find a cradle. What are we gonna cradle this sucker in? It's some kind of a U-shaped thing that goes down, over, and up. Eh, go look through the pile. We need two of these guys. I'm gonna cut halfway on the line. Just like that. Get back over here, Packerhead. So now I got two of these guys. Gonna cut them open. Put on the old trusty non-see-through visor. All right. Got some piece of metal here, one by two or something. All right, we're gonna cut that with the plasmatic cutter. Ready, Freddy? All right, now we're gonna take this pecker head and weld it onto that pecker head. I should cut wood and clean the ends. Hey, yeah, screw it, I ain't got time for that. Square, square, close enough. Stay up there, pecker head. So it's pretty bang on. That's pretty ugly. Good enough for me. Close enough. Next, Tex Mex. Yeah, that's the way it'll work. We're gonna whack it back a bit. We can start cutting out the pockets here. So these are gonna end up making the spool pocket. We're gonna weld them in and then bend these parts out. Some we got. Shut it, Miller! Now what I'm doing, I'm gonna put this sucker in here. I'm gonna put the crack right on the top. Where's my favorite pair of pliers, damn it! Lined up with the top, give her a few taps. Tacky, tacky! All right, give her a little tacky little. That's your door there, Quagmire. Now we're gonna bend her open there, lollipop. Shut up, Miller! Gonna get a giant uh, screw you driver. That's ah, not gonna work. And do some bendy looing. All right, now we can use Fat Boy. Fat Boy Slim. <laughs> I know you can't see anything. Look at my big hands in the way. That's not bad. All right, give you a little better visual. Kind of giving her a bit of a taper to the top. Gonna do the same with the other side. It's gonna look a little prettier after I grind her clean. But yeah, for now, I'm gonna whack the crap out of this thing. Get jalopy in there. That's not so worse. Alright, that's kind of how she looks now. A little bit polished up. We got this dingleberry, and then this sucker is just gonna drop in there like that. We'll cut that sucker off. 
cradles in there. Shut it, Miller! Prop this thing here about. We'll figure that out. Measure her out. Yada, yada, yada. There she is somewhat. Gotta be close, but I, just gotta, I think I gotta move it over. Just ain't center enough that way. Move this sucker over. Move the tank over. Dang it! Shut it, Miller! Gonna have to lift it with the crane. Deregulate you, boy. Here's the problem. Even if it's in a ways like that, between here and here, that's where the spool goes. And it needs to go in through that pipe, so it's gonna be way off too far to one side. So I'm gonna move the argon tank, as far as I can anyway. Shut it, Miller! Okay, we got her welded on. I think we can put the spool on there now. And we're not painting none of this crap. This is all temporary. Hopefully one day soon, we'll get good old Miller a new stand box cart thing frickin' diddly ducks. Okay, we're gonna suck all the wire out of here now. Through the hole, shove it through the hole. Okay, close her up, and the wire's already coming off the spool. Let her rip. There she is. The wire is just coming right off, so this thing spins way too easy. Uh, so what do we do? Need something dragging here. Come on, think of something, Jingleberry. Need something to sit on here, cause drag, and prevent the wire from coming off. I think it's close to quitting time. That's why I'm running out of ideas. Brain power is just starting to fail. Here, this is what I'm thinking already. This piece of metal is gonna hold down some foam and it's gonna add brake and it's also gonna stick past and hopefully it'll just kind of ooze its way in as the spool gets smaller. Gonna strip five inches wide. I think we wanna stack these three high. You know, I should actually weld the bracket on for yeah, it's a high quality H2O. Bleh. Five minute epoxy. I thought I hit record, but uh, I guess not. This is what we got. Yada, yada, yada. Let's go try it. That's not too worse. Let's go find a hinge. We're in the store where they have everything. Ooh, that might be the one. All right, what do we got here? Let's just use that bugger. Now where the heck is the cashier? This will go in here somewhere. Okay, we'll cut her off. Shut it, plasma cutter! Let's weld that sucker on. Go find some screws. Okay, and then she comes in down. Is that gonna work? All right, Miller. One more thing I've done for you, second nads. Shut it! All right, so here's what I've done to get a 33 pound spool of wire to work on my Miller. That only has room for a 10 pound spool. So I built a stand and the spool gets plopped into these pockets. This foam is acting like a break. I had to blow a new hole through the back, semi-centralized. My tank used to be in the way. The tank was down there on that ring. You see that crusty edge? Why didn't I polish it up? Because one day this whole thing will get redone. So anyway, the tank used to sit there. So it was in the way of the forky thing up here. So I moved the tank over. And then we got this foam of a jig break. Hunkers down on there, gives it some drag, holds the wire from coming off. For now, it seems to be working. Okay, we'll call that good. Don't say I never did nothing for you, Miller. Don't ask me why they do it that way. I'm assuming they're stupid. <laughs>